Hello, beautiful people. It is 6 a.m. here in New York. I'm just waking up and getting a very, very busy day started. But before I jumped into all my other stuff, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a Twitch tutorial. I'm feeling generous today. So what we're going to talk about today is how to get follower alerts on your stream. So when someone follows, when someone donates, it's going to pop up on your stream. Everybody wants that, right? So it's actually very, very simple. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. One little thing, though. You're going to need to stream through your computer. So you're going to have to be on OBS or XSplit, one of those platforms. You can't be streaming straight from your console. It won't work. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um, so if you have OBS, you have, you don't even need a game, really. You have just everything all set to go on your computer. That's all you need. <clears throat> Before we jump into the tutorial, I just want to say, if you guys want to check me out on Twitch, I'm twitch.tv slash Chris Patron. Come say hi anytime you want. I try to stream as much as I can, but honestly, it's just a few times a week. All right, cool. So let's jump on into it. So the first thing you're going to do is open up OBS, which we've already done. We're in our OBS window here. Um, and it looks a little bit trippy because I'm using the display capture, but that's totally fine. And now that you have OBS open, you're all set to go. Let's open up your internet browser. For me, it's Google Chrome, and we're going to sign into our Twitch account. So here I am signed in on just a blank account. You're going to open up a new tab and type in streamlabs.com. Very simple. I'll leave a link in the description. And you're going to click connect with Twitch. So what you're seeing here is actually a little bit different than what it's really going to say for you. It's going to, you're going to have options to connect with Twitch, YouTube, all these different websites. You're going to click connect with Twitch. And it's going to go based on, oh, here it is. It's going to go based on whatever account is logged in in, the, in that other window. So I'm going to click log in with Twitch. It'll log me in. For you, it'll ask you if you want to authorize it. Just click yes, authorize. Cool. So once you've done that, you're now logged in. And you could tell that it's your Twitch account by looking at the top right. And you're logged into Streamlabs. And this might look a little bit overwhelming for yours. Don't worry about it. We're not going to stress over every little detail of this website just yet. We're only going to do the alert function. So if you go to the left panel here, there's a bunch of different options you can click on, but we're going to find alert box. And if you don't see it, just you might find the word widgets, click widgets to open up, open up all the different widgets that are available and you'll see alert box. It's the top one. So we're going to click alert box. Great. So now that we've done this again, pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff to look at here. We're not going to stress over that. We're just going to come to where it says the widget URL. There it is right there. And we're going to click copy. Don't click launch. Don't worry about that. Just click copy. Great. Now we're going back into OBS. And we're going to click, actually, back to my face cam page. And we're going to click the little plus arrow. Oh, no, I want you guys to see this. Never mind. We're going to do it right here. We're going to click the plus arrow underneath sources. And we're going to click browser source. Type in anything you want, but I'm going to type in alert box. You could type in anything you want. You could type in follow alerts. You could type in win alert window. It's, it's really whatever. It's up to you. You're going to see that there's a URL for obsproject.com. We're going to replace that with the URL we just copied. So we're going to highlight all that. And we're going to do control V to paste on the link that we just copied from Streamlabs. So what this is doing, it's telling OBS, hey, this is where our alerts are going to come from. Make sure you show it on screen. So now right here is this window that is our follower alerts, donation alerts, host alerts, all that. You can make it big. You can reposition it where you want it. We're just going to leave it in the middle for, this, for the purpose of the tutorial. Cool. Um, okay, so now let's go back to streamlabs.com. We're in our alert box section. And if we click to test something, let's test a donation. This is what happens. This Great. is a test donation for dollar. So if you got this far, you've already surpassed tons of people who have had too much trouble with this. So congratulations for getting this far. This is where the fun begins. So now you have your alerts working. They're popping up in your OBS. That's great. So they're going to show on stream. Now we can customize them a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down just a little bit and we're going to have the option to change the layout if we want. So you just saw the little zombie was on top and the text was on bottom. We're actually going to go back. This is a test donation for dollar. This is a test donation. Great. Cool. That's the text to speech. We'll talk more about that in a second. We're going to change the layout to the right option here, which is picture on the left, text on the right. We'll test the subscription. Once that goes in, there you go. Picture, uh, picture on the left, text on the right. Awesome. I like it. It kind of looks like he's chasing to eat the words. It's kind of funny. So now we can get down to the nitty gritty of changing each individual thing. So let's go to our subscription tab here 
And you could you could change follow donations. These are all the same. You can customize what happens in each of them. So earlier, I actually customized my follower alert, and it looks like this. Let's test one. All right. Very cool. So different text uh, font, different coloration on the text, a different GIF, and a different sound. So you can really get down to the nitty-gritty. In a different tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to create your own GIFs, how to create your own sounds. But for now, we're just going to use what they give you. So let's head over to subscriptions and let's change this up a little bit. Let's let's have it say blink just subscribed and we're going to say yeah baby with an exclamation point. So we're just changing the text that pops up every time. The text animation, we're going to make it a wave. The default gif, we're going to click change media. We're going to come over here to where it says stock files. Are we showing the right screen? Yeah, we are. And we're going to choose a different image. Let's choose Let's choose Pikachu running. Double click and he'll appear there. For the sound, we're gonna click change media, go to stock sounds, and we're gonna find, uh, let's try, oh yeah. Double click that. Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's funny because that actually used to be my sound for my first channel, my first Twitch channel. That used to be my follow alert sound. But anyway, so we changed the GIF, we changed the style of the text, we changed the sound. Now we're gonna change the font just a little bit. So click font settings. Let's change the color to uh, red for the highlight color and for the text color. Let's change it to blue. I know it's a little it's a little wacky, but let's try it. Uh, font size, we're going to make it huge. We're going to make it 80 pixels. Um, font itself, we're going to change to Nova Flat. And we're going to click Save Settings. And there's more windows you guys can, can customize too, but we're just going to show you for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to keep it simple. So we customized all our settings. We clicked Save Settings. Now it's time to test subscription and then go straight back to OBS. Oh yeah. Beautiful. All right, it looks a little it looks a little janky there, but you guys can see Maple with Chris just subscribed. Yeah, baby. So, super cool. You guys can really add some personality to it and and make it your own. What I would recommend is stream with relatively plain old alerts. And then as you go on, as you begin to stream more and more and you develop your own streamer personality, that's when you can kind of add variation to it. So it matches your page. You know, you don't want to use something day one and then a couple weeks later go, oh, like this isn't me. So definitely, I would say like keep it simple off the bat. And then as you get a little bit better at streaming and as you discover your brand and as you discover your personality on stream, then make it fit your personality, right? So everything on your stream from your alerts to your banners to your to your to your panels everything should all kind of follow your brand and kind of be aligned with who you are and show your personality you know you don't want to have crazy bright pink pop up alerts while your channel is themed dark and mysterious right you, you know you don't unless you want that contrast but be mindful of that definitely like i said we're going to do a deeper tutorial on how to customize all of your alerts and make them your own content, your own GIFs, your own sounds, that sort of thing. But we're going to do that later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial. Hope it wasn't too long. If you guys did, leave a like and uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If you want to reach out and say hi, feel free to do so. And don't forget to find me at twitch.tv slash Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later.